Have you ever yearned to understand the secrets of the universe? Do you seek profound wisdom that transcends the boundaries of our known existence? Look no further, as Alex Collier is here to ignite your mind and spirit with his extraordinary encounters with the Andromedan civilization. Alex Collier has dedicated his life to sharing the profound messages and teachings he has received from our cosmic neighbors, the Andromedans. His experiences have transformed the lives of countless individuals across the globe, and today, we're honored to bring you his extraordinary insights and revelations. But before we delve into the depths of cosmic knowledge, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel to join our incredible community. Trust us, you won't want to miss a single moment of the knowledge Alex Collier imparts. Sit back and relax and listen to Alex Collier discussing whether malevolent extraterrestrials gave Earth leaders the idea to create fiat currency to enslave us. Alex, did malevolent EC races give Earth humans the idea to create fiat money to enslave us? Or did we come up with the idea ourselves? I know you said that alien races don't use money. Thanks. No, they don't. Um, specific races that are known for conquer, for conquering, for enslaving, um, they teach this method and it and it's and it's relatively a, a brilliant strategy actually if you look at how it's structured you um you invade a planet whether overtly or covertly if you do it covertly you know um everyone's living off the land they're uh migrating they're they have migrational patterns. They follow the food. They follow the, the good weather, the, the bad weather, etc. The seasons, they things change and they move around. But they live off the land. And um, there's usually plenty to live, live off of if you know what you're doing. What you do is you come in and you covertly establish a priesthood of you have your aliens and then you establish a priesthood of the indigenous people of the planet. And you say, okay, we're going to use you. You're going to be our go-betweens with the people, with the citizens of your races and your cultures. And you're going to be given special privileges. Now, we're going to be doing some things, and we don't want to be known, but what we're going to do is we're going to put you into prominent positions of power, and you're going to become kings and queens and, and lords and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, of your people. And your bloodline will be considered royalty, and your bloodlines will rule over these people for so many centuries yada 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 and then you establish certain moral systems maybe even a religion and then a monetary system now the thing that's interesting about a monetary system is that once you establish the monetary system and everybody buys into the monetary system what happens is they don't migrate or live off the land now they're attracted to the big homes the permanent homes the cars the vehicles the spaceships the nice clothes technology and what happens is you leave your self-reliance you let that go for the pleasures of living in a different way and Everything about living in that different way is far more appealing than having to be completely self-reliant. And this way of living, this very wonderful, convenient way of living, only exists for you if you make money. If you have money to buy these gifts, these treasures, these this technology, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm, I'm making it a very, very basic 
thing. But ultimately, what's happened is that the majority of the population gets trapped. It may take many, many centuries for this to occur. But it almost always does. Because these regressive aliens bring in the whole package. You know, they bring in the whole package. They bring in the currency. They bring in the belief systems. Then they start introducing technology for the populace to use. They raise the the uh, awareness of the population by drawing them in to a paradigm that a mental paradigm that's being created for them by these holographically regressive extraterrestrials who create this paradigm and you're drawn into it and most don't ever know. They don't even know they're in it because generation after generation are then born into this paradigm. They don't know any different. They were not around when the paradigm was first created. Okay. Um, the only ones that end up getting free of this are those who are around at the end when the paradigm collapses on itself, which is where we are today on Earth. So, in a nutshell, uh, all of this behavior was brought and taught to us. Wars, all those things. The Anunnaki taught us that. The satanic shit. That's the reptilians. That's the reptilians. Uh, lack of empathy. The uh, no compassion. Uh, no. Um, no regrets, no anything, virtually no emotional empathy whatsoever, uh, we get that from the grace. So it's all been learned behavior. We've been taught how to be broken. They broke us, and then they taught us how to stay broken, thinking that we were normal, that this was all normal, how we were all supposed to actually be as souls and beings. And now we're finding out that it's not. It's not. It's, it's been a huge scam all along. We are immensely grateful for your support as it enables us to continue sharing knowledge that transforms lives and expands consciousness. So please remember to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and ring the bell for cosmic notifications. Thank you for being an integral part of our cosmic journey. Stay curious. Stay open-minded and most importantly, stay connected. Together, we'll navigate the vast cosmic tapestry hand in hand. Until our next adventure, fellow truth seekers. If you would like to see Andromedan contact the Alex Collier live via video stream, we host an online seminar three times a month on a Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information and dates of upcoming online seminars, please visit alexcollier.org. Please click on one of the above videos to seek more of Alex Collier's knowledge.